News around the Ozarks this Thursday at 10. The annual Ozark Empire Fair will be happening at the end of the month, but it's not going to look the same as it has in years past. Color 10's Francis Lynn spoke with the general manager of the Ozark Empire Fair. Francis. Yeah, he said there will be several hand sanitizer stations throughout the fairgrounds and arrows around the area to indicate which way to walk and social distancing is strongly encouraged. At the livestock area, teens and kids competitions are canceled this year. Ribbons will also not be handed out. There will be champion ribbons, but if your child wins a ribbon, you can choose to have it mailed to you instead. Additional COVID signs are out to try to educate people. It's a community celebration and uh, we want people to be here. There's a lot of room to social distance and spread out, and we just want people to be respectful and uh, come out and have a good time. AgVenture will still be there, but instead of being able to walk in and play in the sandbox, it'll be more of a static educational presentation. Fair food will still be there, employees will be behind glass, and any restaurants with open windows will also have plexiglasses installed. Owen says because of COVID-19, he could be expecting even more customers. Here's why. I call it the stay vacation, but you can come and have your family fun, uh, practice your social distancing, you know, uh, do your hand sanitizing and hand washing and, and go home and sleep in your own bed and, and be perfectly comfortable. So um, I look for us to have new customers this year that typically would be somewhere on a beach or a plane or a train and and now they can be with us. The Ozark Empire Fair will be expected to open on July 30th at 4 p.m. and all other days at 11 until August 8th. There is currently no mask requirement to come to the fair, but the mask ordinance being voted on in City Council on Monday could change that. We will be following up on Monday.